So what I like to show um, tutorial of is a variation of hyperloops from forwards and hyperloops from reverse mixed with a pendulum beat. So it'll be a one beat pendulum on both sides. And the same thing with reverse. It'll be just uh, one beat on both sides, however you want to take it. And if you blend the pendulum on that up beat, when they both almost touch, you let that top hand go out a little more. And when it comes back, it'll connect with the other four, creating a hyperloop. So it looks like this. It'll be for forward. Reverse is very similar. Because if you're in reverse weave, you're just doing the one beat. And when that apex touches, it comes back and catches as well. So if you know this little variation in butterfly or split times, where it does that stall above and at the front, right beside your head. The top hand goes back, it'll come forward, it's the same thing. It catches that are poised for that tangle that ends up being what they consider a hyperloop. Or just a catch tangle. If you really split the timing down, you'll notice they do a pendulum right at the top as well. And there's a couple of different variations of playing with this. But this is about all I'm going to go into for right now. So from forward at the camera, in forward pendulum or weave, I like stepping to the left or right of it, so stepping back away so it opens up that plane so it has more room to do the pendulum and the beat. Okay, now reverse. I find with reverse you have to step out of the way of the foil a little bit more. Even if you really clean your planes up, it's still the same thing. You have to kind of move out of the way of it.